<coughs> nearest and dearest, P584, stroke program number 19, part one, take one. <laughs> Thank you, madam. I stand by, lads. Best of luck all. There we go. Ten seconds. Inside. I don't want to go inside. Go I've only got a little cough. What I want to come to flaming doctors for? Come to the doctor with a little cough like that, I'm off. Come back in. <laughs> Your big girl's blouse. Doctor won't hurt you. I'm not wrong with me. I'm as fit as a lodging house cat. You're proper poorly, R4, Eli. You've got a bad cough. That's a churchyard cough you've got. Aye. And there's a lots of fellas in churchyard who'd be very glad of my cough. <laughs> well, please yourself. But if you drop dead in the street, don't come running to me. <laughs> I'll be at your funeral at short house. <laughs> I say, oh. that's just what my Albert said. Next day, they were gone. Gone? Just like that. See? What did he die of? Oh, I didn't die. I ran off with a little pizza from Accrington. <laughs> See? I'm not stopping here, I'm off. Get back. Well, there. oh! Oh! oh. Sorry, now I see what you've done. Did oh. that give you a twinge? Twinge? It was agony. Now, you see, that's a good sign. You see? Now, if I'd have give you a good pelt, you see, on your arm, and you hadn't have felt it, then you'd know something had gone. Like, to see... Uh, if... Get no, off it! Come on. You're a bloody menace. <laughs> it's you that's got some of God. You want to sling around your head? I said she wants to sling around oh! her head. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry. You damn fool! You shouldn't be that loose, you shouldn't. I've said I'm sorry. Can't you take a job? Bloody sorry. That's <laughs> it. Men are soft, aren't they? What? Uh, he wants to try being a woman for a uh, week. <laughs> he know what pain were. Uh, what about Jim? He's frightened of the doctor. I've had to drag him all the way here. My Albert was just the same. Was he? He couldn't face up to mm -hmm. pain and suffering. That's why he ran off with that little piece of from Accrington. <laughs> you should talk. I don't know how you'll go on and lay lying in that hospital waiting for your grapes to go down. <laughs> I'm not stopping here. There's no wrong with me. I'm not going to hospital. I'm not seeing that doctor. I'm taking nature's cure. Six right. pints a best mile. That's it. Oh, oh I don't know, though. <laughs> no, I'm in seeing him now. What here is that? I mean, you... no, I'm in having a checkup. Even if you are fighting fit and incredibly virile. <laughs> I say, what? the trouble with me is my legs, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that, yes. I thought to myself when I came in through that door, I thought, hello, I said, I don't like the look of those legs. <laughs> They've baffled medical science, these legs. I'm not surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the doctors don't know how I walk about. No. How would you go on with a pair of legs like that? I don't know, but I wouldn't mind finding out. <laughs> Good luck to you. <laughs> Before I go, perhaps you'd like to give it a really good bang. You what? <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> hey, you next. I wonder what do you find, the doctor? Don't know. Depends where he looks, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, bloody hell, the naked and the dead. Hi, Walter. What are you doing here? It's Walter. Oh. You remember that thing he had? Yeah. Started up again. Oh, he's been overdoing it then, has he? <laughs> so, Walter, you've been overdoing it, have you? Overdoing it? You can't even undo it. <laughs> no, what it is, the doctor is, um, is, is very interested in our Walter's case. Mm. Wants to write a book about him. What's he going to call it? From here to eternity? <laughs> Don't talk like that about Walter. He's nervous enough as it is. What with that undertaker tapping on the window every time he goes past? <laughs> you can see he's in pain. You're in pain, aren't you, Walter? What exactly is it he's got? He's on his own clothes slipped again. <laughs> no, what it is, 
It's his old war wound. What, where that tin of black market spam fell on him? <laughs> you know very well what Walter did in the war. You know he was on the short list to be Monty's double. Ah, he didn't get job, though, did he? No, because that was only because he couldn't grow that short tash in time. <laughs> That's right, works out it. Hello. Oh, hello. Hey, you're supposed to be down at factory pickling. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, I've come just to eat doctor about me sex life. <laughs> are you? There you are. I've come to see if it can lower my virility. <laughs> lower your virility at your age, it's all in your head. I know. That's why I want it to lower it. <laughs> What did the doctor say about your legs, then? He said, well, whatever it is, it's travelling upwards. Only it stopped when it got to my knees. It knew what it was bloody doing, didn't it? <laughs> Get in. Sure it's I'm not going in there. You're, I'm coming in with you. I'm going to see your case is properly diagnosed. Oh. Get in. <laughs> Good morning. Oh. Well, where's Dr McGregor, then? Oh, he's on holiday. I'm Dr Bell. I'm his locum. Oh, I didn't know he was married. Good morning. <laughs> Back here, you. Well, I'm not letting him mess me about. He's only a little lad. I can assure you I've been practising for several years. Well, practise on somebody else. I'll come back when you know what you're doing. <laughs> Back here. Get your clothes oh, off. Don't lie, Alice, lie. Get your clothes off. He's a doctor. He won't laugh. <laughs> what, uh, what exactly is the trouble? Well, he keeps having these do's. All I've got is a little cough. A little cough. Uh, well, if you'll just take your jacket off. Yeah, take him to tell us... Uh, take him, tell him to take all his clothes off. Never mind his jacket. I mean, when he gets his clothes off, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> you'll see all sorts there. <laughs> his feet are a funny colour as well. <laughs> Well, madam, I'm quite capable of making my own diagnosis. Yeah, well, he wants those red pills. Her at the chippy, well, she... No, not her, but her husband. She, he had those red pills, you know. Oh, they did the trick. Burst him with health, he was. Ah, look what they did to him. What? Ran after a bus and fell down a bloody manhole. <laughs> yes, 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 well, I haven't got all day. I'll just have a look at your chest. <laughs> Breathe in deeply. <gasps> No, that's not normal, is it? That noise. What? That noise isn't normal. What? That... There's something wrong! <laughs> don't do that. Kindly don't interfere. <laughs> Can you feel that? Any time I like. <laughs> oh, you're too soft with him. Oh, uh, what about drinking? I, uh, I suppose you have the odd one. Ah, yes, but the other one's quite normal. <laughs> <laughs> no laughing matter. You're sick, sick. Madam, kindly let me be the judge of that. And let me be the judge of something. Look at his colour. Look at the colour of him. My dad went that colour just before he died. Supposing something happens to our Eli, what's going to happen to me? I mean, I can't cope. I can't cope with that factory all by myself on my own with nobody with me. I mean, you don't know what it's like, do you? Pickling from morning until night. <laughs> you get up at half past five and you come down and you find your gherkins haven't come. <laughs> Next thing, your pickle is gone putrid. <laughs> well, there's nothing you can do, can you? Because, what's more, your vinegar's been cut off. <laughs> I'm only a woman. <laughs> what makes you think he's ill? What can't speak can't lie. I've got the evidence here. No, I forgot it. I've left it in the waiting room. Now, you just stay there, sat sitting, until I come back. <laughs> Is she like this all the time? You should see her in leap year. <laughs> she made me come, you know. Drove me bloody mad. I, uh, I take it she never got married. Oh, it wasn't for the one to ask in. She asked everybody. <laughs> we seem to have something of a problem. Why? What have I got? You've not got anything. There's nothing wrong with you at oh, all. Oh, I see. It was here all the time, in my pocket. Look at that. What? That's not normal, is it? <sighs> what is this, Miss Pledge? That's a sample. <laughs> I told him to bring a sample. What exactly is that, Mr. Pledge? Malt vinegar. 90% proof. Well, I didn't tell you to bring that, did you I? You told me to bring a sample. Not from the flaming factory, you <laughs> flaming idiot. Sit down, Miss Pledge. Oh. Miss Pledge, you're very worried about your brother, aren't you? Well, I mean, he's all I've got. Well, no, he's not all you've got. What do you mean, not all I've got? Why? What have I got? Well, well, what I'm trying to say is this, Miss Pledge. Illness is found in many places, Miss Pledge. 
Uh, we find it uh, in the leg, in the uh, glands, in the stomach, in the throat. In canteens? Quite. <laughs> <laughs> Quite. A disease is everywhere. They've even got it in hospitals. <laughs> of course. But sometimes disease comes in disguise. The body, you see, is the mirror of the mind. When the body's diseased, it doesn't always come out in the form of a rash or a rupture. <laughs> Quite. And sometimes the disease is internal, within the soul, within the mind. Oh, no. The brain's a very delicate instrument. It's like an electronic harp. And you've twanged yours once too bloody often. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, to put it plainly, Anne Nelly, what he's trying to tell you is, you're crackers. No, 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 Mr. Plate, I wouldn't go so far. Well, how far would you go, Doctor? She's half bloody crackers. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me at all. Of course not, Nelly, love. Oh, that I'm, I'm as fit as a Rochdale flea. And twice as much, <laughs> twice as much bloody trouble. Yeah. You shut up. You, it's your fault I'm here. And to think, I felt sorry for you. I want my brains testing. I know, that's why you're here. <laughs> Don't worry, Nelly. They haven't put you away yet, you know. You're only in the pending train. And what are you staring at? I, I brought a message for you from lads at factory. Oh, have you? Uh, well, what did they say? Can we draw us Christmas Club money out now? <laughs> Get away from this bed, you specky-eyed vulture, you! You'd like that, wouldn't you? You'd like that for me to be certified. See, that doctor, that doctor's caused all this, you know. Everybody's looking at me as if I'm a bloody barn pot. <laughs> well, let's face it, Nelly, you always have been a bit strange. Strange? Yeah. What do you mean, strange? Well, who wanted to send me dad to Arrogate to for cure? Well, lots of people do that. I know, love, but he'd been dead two days. <laughs> you don't remember that. Oh, I mustn't well. have been well. Don't you like it, do you? Well, uh... Oh, Walter loved it. Every time. He always enjoyed himself. Do you know, he's been in every, every ward in here except maternity. Ah. <laughs> and that wasn't for one to try in. <laughs> I say. Walter, I bet it brings back memories here, don't it, Walter? <laughs> I say, brings it all back. <laughs> oh, don't say that, Nelly. He's only just had his dinner. <laughs> hey, I say, is it true that that lady doctor's got his gold stones on a charm bracelet? <laughs> Stop talking about insides. I had uh, enough with her in next bed. Never stop talking about her operation. What did she have done? <laughs> you know. <laughs> she had that there. <laughs> all taken away. <laughs> all except the bed. <laughs> well, they have to leave her that, you see, by law, you see. Hey, Walter, you shouldn't be. Hey, hell, where's he? It was gone? there a minute since. Oh, dear God, I hope he hasn't gone giving blood again. Hey, he's not. <laughs> Not safe going about this hospital on his own, you know. Yeah. I know where he'll be. Yeah, he'll have gone. He'll have gone to the lobby to see his appendix. They're oh. in a big green bottle in the lobby. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope he ain't gone near the dissecting room. They'll have him. Uh, he can't be in two places at once. That he can if he's in that dissecting room. Oh, Walter! <laughs> well, you don't sit there. Go and help us to find him. He'll be him. all right. He's probably just gone to run his underpants through steriliser. Oh, <laughs> oh God! Oh, those flaming crumbs! Anybody with any sense would bring grapes to somebody ill. What would bring me flaming Eccles cakes? <laughs> Hello, Nelly. How are you bearing up? Well, I'm not bearing down. <laughs> and I keep telling you, I'm mispledged to everybody except nearest relatives and friends. So I'll thank you to think on. No, oh, we are particular today. Not enough to do, you know. That's your trouble. Uh, Wouldn't you like to weave a basket? <laughs> No, I would not like to weave a basket. And while we're at it, neither would I like to knit a scarf. 
for somebody who is less fortunate than me. <laughs> well, it's no good sitting there brooding. Anyway, come on, let's have you out of bed. The consultant wants to see you. The consultant? Who's the consultant? Dr. French. Oh, he's lovely. Is he? He's a psychiatrist, isn't he? <laughs> now, I don't see no psychiatrist and nothing wrong with me. I'm not mental. <laughs> I'm only lay lying here to save people talking, especially her at chip shop. Of course you did quite right. You're humouring me again, aren't you? I'll not be humoured. All right, then, you awkward old faggot, if that's the way you want it. Get out of that bed and get down that corridor. That's more like it. <laughs> two of you? Another bit, two of you? Well, it's me you want to see, really, see. Yes, this is our Eli, see, and he's why, the reason I'm come here, you see. Yeah, she thinks I'm sick, but really it's Seth. You see, well, the doctor said I've got an illusion, you see, and uh, we've got a pickle factory and it's got on top of me. <laughs> Get this straight. You believe you own a pickle factory? Why a pickle factory? Why not, I mean, oh, I don't know, a ladies' underwear shop. <laughs> We could very well sell pickles in a lady's underwear shop. <laughs> oh, that's true. Now, wait a minute. Let's get this straight. We do own a pickle factory. Ah. Pledge is pure of pickles. She's Nelly Pledge. I'm Eli Pledge, her brother. Ah, siblings. No, pledges. <laughs> oh, no, I mean your brother and sister. It's very significant. I thought it were rather common. <laughs> yeah, well, you see, well, I went to see the doctor with our Eli here because he had a cough, you see, and the doctor said that I was suffering from illuminations, you see. Well, now, you're a psychiatrist, aren't you? So I want you to go and tell him that he's up the pole. <laughs> yes, yes, well, <clears throat> I think a few simple psychological tests will provide us with the answers. <clears throat> we'll start with the word association test. Now, when I say a word to you, you say the first word that comes into your head, right? Wrong. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Stop. Go. I haven't started yet. Oh. Hey, about this drink, we'll never get finished. Look, what's your diagnosis? Is she crackers or isn't she? Don't raise your voice. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please. Now, Miss Pledge, just forget about the word association. Would you come over here and lie on this couch? What for? It's the only way to get to the bottom of things. <laughs> Hang on, hang on. I know she's a bit repulsive, but she's my sister. She has to lie on the couch. We always do that in analysis. I don't care what they do where you come from, mate. We're a bit old-fashioned round here, aren't we, Lord? You tell him, yeah. All right, all right. We'll try something else. Oh. Now, we'll try the ink blot reactions test. I'll show you a series of cards with ink blots on them, and you tell me what the shapes remind you of, right? Yes. You dirty, filthy beast. <laughs> First of all, you want to get a line on cats, then you start showing her filthy pictures. And not filthy pictures. Ah, I've heard about men like you. You're sick. Oh, no, this is not a, th a dirty picture, Eli. I can see here a little kitten playing with a ball of wool. And up in that corner there, there's a elephant. <laughs> see, different people see different things. Hang on, I, I can't see an elephant. Can you see an elephant? Well, no, I, I can't, actually. You both want your eyes tested. <laughs> what, what, what does that bit remind you of there? <laughs> say, I never noticed that before. <laughs> it's filthy. <laughs> hey, get me half a dozen postcard signs, will you? <laughs> hey, stop it off, slavering over dirty pictures. You're supposed to be sorting me out. Then get on the couch. All right. I'm sorry. Quite all right. Well, I, I'm sorry. It makes you feel happy for me to get on the couch. All right. <laughs> Look, uh, please forgive me, but it's not easy, this business, you know. Week in, week out, trying to help people, trying to see what's in there, in the human mind. And I have been under great strain recently. Yes, you want to be careful. You must have been overdoing it, you know. Who's going to make people well if you are sick? <laughs> You're right, of course. You're absolutely right. Mm. God, I'm tired. <laughs> You've uh, lost a button off your jacket there. Oh, so I have. I meant to sew that on again. Mm. Still, I'm all right. Now, about your childhood... Now, that shows me that you haven't got a woman looking after you. <laughs> well, no, I haven't. You see, my wife... Still, that's not your problem. Oh, yes, it is. We're all here to help each other, aren't we? <laughs> 
Let a smile be your umbrella, for I may not pass this way again. We shall all now rise and sing the 23rd Psalm. Shut up, you. As my Auntie Agnes used to say, and it's very true, don't worry, it may never happen. But in her case, it did. She had 17 kids. <laughs> Shut up, will you? I'm talking to the engineer, not the oil rag. Oh, charming. <laughs> Miss Plage, I, I do appreciate your sympathy, really, I now do. Now, you, you've got trouble at home, haven't you? Well, yes, I have. I can always tell. When there's a slate loose on the roof, you'll always find a big puggle in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, bloody Nora. <laughs> Why don't you try talking to somebody about it? Talking? To whom? Nobody listens these days. You know, they've all got their own problems. Nobody listens. Eli, just leave us alone for a minute or two, will you? You what? You're not wanted here. Get outside and play you a bit. Go on. Oh, it'll be a pleasure. I've got news for you, mate. You're dafter than she is. <laughs> Let me be the judge of that. Bloody National Health Service. <laughs> I bore him. <clears throat> now we can have a little talk. You get it off your chest. It'll clear your head. Well, I hardly know where to begin. Oh, well, tell Nelly. I mean, she knows, you know. <laughs> yes. Now, when you were a little boy at your house, did you have your own toilet? <laughs> or did you have to share? Walter anywhere. I've tried out patients x-rays and he used nose and throat. Well, he's not in the wind and water either. <laughs> in the jets. Well, oh, do you know he loves hospitals? It's his idea of an adventure playground. Well, don't worry. He's probably played hide-and-seek in the mortuary. <laughs> Here she is, the last of the Blackpool witches. I suppose she'll be under him for a good while. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll come and visit you on Sundays. Well, every other Sunday. No need, no need. He says I'm as sane as he is. And what's more, he's given me a sticky fat to prove it. <laughs> he what? He wants flame well looking at. I'll go and have a word with him. No, you don't. He's got enough in his plate without you going in mithering him. Come on, let's get ready and get on. Hang on, hang on. There's, there's a few bulges under that blanket that I recognise. <laughs> Come on, Walter, lad, get up. Party's over. Now, you and his wife, why don't you put your hand under there and see if he's got everything he came in with? <laughs> <laughs> Have you had it, Walter? <laughs> the anaesthetic. Have you had it? Oh, come on. I don't on. think he's had it, no. Come on, let's get home. Oh, sh Well, now, while we're here, why don't you get somebody to have a look at your thing? <laughs> what thing? Your cough. It's only a perfectly normal cough first thing in the morning. I only have to... <coughs> ooh, ooh, dear. Ooh, ooh, I've done it. What have you done? Ooh, ooh, get out, I've done it. Get out of here, get out of here. Ooh, ooh, dear. Ooh, Walter. Ooh, Watch up. I've got a little lump. Where's ooh, dear. The... <laughs>
Nearest and dearest, P584, stroke programme number 19, part one, take one. <laughs> Thank you, madam. Right, stand by, lads. Best of luck all. Here we go, ten seconds. Inside. I don't want to go inside. Go I've only got a little cough. What I want to come to flaming doctors for? Come to the doctor with a little cough like that, I'm off. Come back in. <laughs> you big girl's blouse. Doctor won't hurt you. I'm not wrong with me. I'm as fit as a lodging house cat. You're proper poorly, I thought, Eli. You've got a bad cough. That's a churchyard cough you've got. Aye. And there's lots of fellas in churchyard who'd be very glad of my cough. <laughs> well, please yourself. But if you drop dead in the street, don't come running to me. <laughs> I'll be at your funeral right, short house. <laughs> I say, oh. that's just what my Albert said. Next day, they were gone. Gone? Just like that. See? What did he die of? Oh, I didn't die. I ran off with a little pizza from Accrington. <laughs> See? I'm not stopping here, I'm off. Get back Well, there. Oh! Oh, oh, sorry, oh. Man. Now I see what you've done. Did oh. that give you a twinge? Twinge? It was agony. Now, you see, that's a good sign. You see? Now, if I'd have give you a good pelt, you see, on your arm, and you hadn't have felt it, then you'd know something had gone. Like, to see... Uh, if... Get no, off it! Come on. You're a bloody menace. <laughs> it's you that's got some of gone. You want to sling around your head? I said she wants to sling around oh! her head. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry. You damn fool! You shouldn't be that loose, you shouldn't. I've said I'm sorry. Can't you take a job? Bloody sorry. That's it. Men are soft, aren't they? What? Uh, he wants to try being a...